hello friends in this video I'll show you how we can create a Spring Boot project without a Spring Boot initializer and here I'll create a sim project for you and in the normal way we just navigate to this website where we got the Spring initializer project Okay, if you search here for a spring boot initializer, you can see the first option, the first is that here. This one, that will be used for your project. For instance, if you are going to create a project with a Maven, you have to select Maven here. If you are going to create it with a Gradle, you have to select it. Here, you have to specify the version, and here, you have to specify the the project method like the artifact group ID and the description here. Also you can specify the packaging option. Here we are going to create a project. Now click Marvin here and you can see it is detecting the default SDKs. It depends on the Java JDK installed in your computer. You can select the group or you can select the Marvin project manager. Here you can select the JDK or the Java development kit. Because I have installed Java 17 in my computer, you can see here by default is selected. Or you can download the Java runtime environment from your ID. If you are using IntelliJ, the same option are available in NetBean, even in other ID like Eclipse. Then this option is to download, and here is to add a JDK. When I select the Java, I have to click next here. Here is the project name. Let's say it is a demo app. By default, this is folder for its for ID. It is for the ID to store some caches in your project, but it will do nothing with your project. If you are publishing your project in production, this directory and the file inside this one are not used in our project. At the bottom here, there is some libraries have been imported due to the JDKs. Let's say I'm going to give the group ID. Let's say I factor ID. Spring Boot Start Parent. And you can select the version that is suited for you. Because I already downloaded some dependencies for this version, uh, that's why I select this one. So that the dependencies are going to be fetched in my computer, not in, from the internet. Here you can define the packaging option. That if you are going to package it as a jar or you are going to package it as a worm. You can define some plugin in your pom.txt file and the plugin are defined inside the build tag. You can define the final name of the build tag. That will be the name for the job file.
If you want to define the execution of all the projects you can define in the project tab, let's say I'm defining this is an exam project key. Assume I'm going to use a Java mail. I'm going to use a Java mail up here to send emails with Java. I have to define here the dependence and then I have to put here the version for for it. But remember if you don't put the version then the dependency going to use the project setting as we define it in the relative path. To click this refresh move icon that is going to import the dependency in, into your project it may be it may import from your your directory if from your computer it may download from the internet if you are not catched in your computer with the within the Marvin for dot Marvin folder and here inside the main folder we have this we have two folders inside and the this folder is for managing resources for instance if we are going to define the front end resources like images or like project setting or like configuration that you will be used in a project in your project you to define here yeah. for instance this application dot property file will be using as a property scale for your project you can define some so that will be used in what be within your project for instance server.port for a web application you have to define this in Spring Boot Start Web Dependence You don't need to enter line with a semicolon. You can define as many properties that are key value paired to be used in your project. This directory is for creating Java classes. That's why you can see it is root This is the Java directory of to create Java classes and this Java class have to be Manage it in package. So here I'm going to create a package. I have to set here a package. Let's say I'm going to name my packages com dot example dot project. You can define and you can package different depending on you. Your project name or depend on your domain. For instance, if you're going to create a class here. For instance, when you go directly with creating a class, you can see a class have been defined and a package have been defined, have been declared at the top. At 
Okay, right, line up and you can see a power up in the and that will identify this class he will launch to this package and here I'm defer a main method and this main method will, will be used to spring boot your project that is when one you once you run your project it is start from the main method and this main method is syntax says what you, you can see here I I'm going to create a, I'm going to print a LOID here I have to say it is south dot You can select to run project line main method, or you can run with coverage. You run everything within your project. If you run the main method, then it is going to start it from the main method. And it's going to add the run configuration by default. You can see already have been displayed. So, thanks for watching, my friends.